Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera for YouTube. Starting at number 5. GoPro Hero 10 Black. If your cell phone isn't cutting it, but you can't afford an interchangeable lens camera, then a GoPro is your best bet for a cheap YouTube video setup, as long as you don't mind the trade-off in video quality. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is one of the best value options you can get. Though replaced by the GoPro Hero 11 Black, which has a new 8.7 sensor tailored more for social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram, the Hero 10 is still a powerhouse action camera that can do most of the same things at a lower price than its successor. Thanks to a handy front-facing screen, you can monitor yourself while recording, making this a great option for action videos and standard walk and talk style vlogs. GoPro's hypersmooth stabilization is the best in its class and ensures your footage looks smooth. The camera also has more frame rate and resolution options than you'll need, with 5K up to 60 frames per second and 4K up to 120 frames per second. If the price is still a little higher than you'd like, an older GoPro model like the GoPro Hero 9 Black is a good, cheaper alternative, though it has fewer frame rate options and performs a tad worse in low light. Coming at number 4. Sony Alpha ZV E10. If you're on a tighter budget and don't need a viewfinder, the Sony ZV E10 is one of the best cameras for YouTube beginners on a budget. It's similar to the Sony ZV-E1 above, but with less advanced internal recording specs and an APS-C sensor. Like its higher-end stablemate, it lacks a viewfinder, so it isn't as versatile for photography as the Fujifilm X-S10, but it's an excellent vlogging camera for the price. It has plenty of vlog-friendly features, like a fully articulated screen and specialized product showcase, which automatically switches focus to any objects held up in the frame making this a great choice for product and beauty vloggers. The AF is generally quick and reliable, too. If you're looking for better stabilization, the similarly priced Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV comes with 5-axis in-body image stabilization, making it a great alternative if stabilization and portability are priorities. However, it has a much less reliable autofocus system and uses a smaller 4 3rd sensor. Ultimately, the ZV-E10 is still the best camera for YouTube beginners on a budget, thanks to its larger sensor, class-leading autofocus, and microphone input. At Number 3 Fujifilm X-S10 The Fujifilm X-S10 is the predecessor to the Fujifilm X-S20 mentioned above, and while the X-S20 offers some significant improvements, the X-S10 is notably cheaper and still has plenty to offer for those on a tighter budget. Unlike the Sony Alpha 6700, it doesn't support internal 10-bit recording, has a shorter battery life, and caps at 30 frames per second in 4K. However, it uses the same sensor as the X-S20, so video quality is still excellent, and it's one of the only cameras at this price point to feature in-body image stabilization. That aside, it's also well-built, with accessible controls, a comfortable grip, and a fully articulated screen to easily monitor yourself while recording. For those who prefer a more hands-off approach, Fuji's film simulation profiles allow you to change up the look of your videos in-camera. Add in an autofocus system that can keep up well in video and a high frame rate mode in 1080p for slow motion recording, and you've got a super versatile camera for a range of video styles. Number 2 of my list Sony Alpha 6700 If the Sony ZV-E1 sounds like overkill, you'll be all set with the Sony Alpha 6700. Though it lacks the exceptional low-light capability of the Sony ZV-E1, it's a remarkably capable camera for its price. With internal 10-bit 4.2.2 recording, you can capture higher quality video that'll give you more leeway to edit and color grade your footage. It's also one of the few cameras of its class with up to 120 frames per second recording in 4K, albeit with a significant crop. Beyond that, it features in-body image stabilization for smoother handheld recording, no recording time limits, and the same exceptional AI-driven autofocus found on the ZV-E1. 
While the A6700 is the best camera for YouTube videos at this price point, don't overlook the Fujifilm X-S20. Unlike the A6700, it can record 6.2K video from the full resolution of its sensor and supports raw video output to a compatible external recorder. That said, its AF isn't as reliable and doesn't have as many frame rate options. And number 1. Sony Alpha ZV. The Sony ZV-E1 is the first vlogging camera with a full-frame sensor and one of the best 4K cameras for YouTube on the market. Like other models in the ZV lineup, it has a fully articulated screen that's great for self-recording, a built-in directional vlogging mic, and no viewfinder. It's also one of the most compact full-frame cameras on the market, though you'll likely still need a tripod grip for walk and talk style vlogs. With a full-frame sensor that's optimized for low light, this is a great choice if you tend to shoot in less controlled lighting conditions. Features like auto-framing or modes like intelligent auto and cinematic vlog allow you to get the right look for your videos without too much heavy lifting. At the same time, the camera supports internal 10-bit 4.2.2 log recording, with 4K at up to 120 frames per second, making it a good fit for advanced shooters who want more flexibility over the production process, from shooting to uploading the final product. All said and done, these features combine to make the best camera for YouTube that we've tested. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.